Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to uh, create uh, this fish animation swimming along uh, a spline curve. So this is sort of the, the end result of that tutorial um, and uh, let's get started. Alright, so here we're going to uh, make this fish swim along this spline, this uh, spline the spline curve that we've got in the scene. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to create the fish. This one's modeled by Akil, uh, one of my students. Um, it's a very simple model. We've got these bones and joints and put enough joints in there in order to get a nice curve. So this is gonna be traveling around this curve. So we just need to have enough joints that uh, it's not gonna to be too clunky to get around that curve. Uh, once we've got that in place, I like to model the, the spine really in a straight line here because the straight line kind of does matter when it when it actually attaches up. It's not it's not totally important, but uh, it certainly helps us out. So once we've done that, we want to create a spline IK for this uh, joint system. So let's just go skeleton, and then we go to uh, IK spline handle tool over the option box. Let's just reset that. Now by default, it has one segment but we want to have a lot of different segments in the the spline okay this is just how many uh, CVs the curve will be um, created with so once we've done that we can just create once and twice and that will create our spline IK so our spline IK looks a little bit like this if we grab the actual curve itself that it was created automatically created we can come in here select the curve and there we go sorry uh, select the curve and move that around and you can see sort of the effect that we've got happening here is that the joints in this fish will try to follow what that curve is doing. Okay, so the next step that we've got here, um, I'm just going to rename that fish curve so that we know what we're doing. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is that uh, Achilles modeled this really wisely in uh, the normal position. So if we have a look at the front, we can see there's the front and the side, uh, the right view is like this. Now, uh, for the for the motion path to work, uh, the objects really need to be, for some reason, at 90 degrees uh, this way. Now, you can do this in post under the settings of the motion path options, but I found it's a little buggy, so I quite like to just rotate the actual fish curve 90 degrees and then freeze transformation so that just means that it's now if we go to the right view it actually looks like the front view uh, now once that's done uh, we can really um, we're, we're pretty ready to go uh, but one last thing I do like to check is just that that pivot point is totally in the center of this curve now I know that it is because we auto created this but just double check that that's that pivot point so center that's um, modify center pivot. Just uh, make sure that's totally in the center because that really helps us out with our accuracy on this curve as well. So once we've done that, we can select uh, that object there, which is the fish curve itself. This is the fish curve. And we shift select the, uh, the curve that we're gonna put this fish along. And we come over here and we go to motion paths. Now I'm just gonna break this off uh, because there's two things that we're going to do. First, we're going to attach it to the motion path, and then we're going to flow path object. So, first one we're going to do is attach. Now, I just like to use the default settings because I've twisted him 90 degrees. So, we can just use completely default settings and hit apply. Uh, and that will actually create an animation along that motion path for the majority of our animation for however long our time slider is. Now, you'll notice one thing that's happening here is that uh, the fish does seem to flip quite badly in a couple of areas. And that actually has nothing to do with the motion path. It actually has to do with the IK, the spline IK. So we've just got to change one setting in the spline IK, open up the spline IK solver, and then the handle. Come down here to advanced twist controls. So you'll see down here, advanced twist controls. Just enable that, and that will mean that the pole vector for this is, is sort of up, directly up, or the vector position that will always be up. So unless you've got him doing a, a loop the loop, uh, we're gonna be right with no, no twisting. You see that's fixed that. Okay, so uh, last step here is to actually 
make it flow with this uh, curve. So at the moment this curve is just moving with that object, but we actually want it to flow, so we want to stick to it and actually follow it properly. So that's what um, this next option is, this flow path object. If we actually just go reset settings, it defaults to be five divisions. We just hit apply and you can see what this does. So you can see now that he's actually coming and following that curve uh, like this. Now there's a couple of problems here. Now first is that uh, it's really not being very accurately following our curve as you can see. Uh, it's sort of taking these shortcuts and whatnot and I've really just found that that's um, a bit of a problem with how accurate a couple of things are. So we're going to go a little bit backwards and just uh, fix that up. So I'm just going to undo um, until we get to the start and I'll show you something. So I'll just do this quickly. Okay, so I've just undone to this part here where the, the fish is, the spline IK is being created, it's, it's doing its thing, we've rotated at 90 degrees, it's ready to go. Now, one of the first things we can do is uh, get this curve, this fish curve, and we, we at the moment it's got uh, quite a few segments. Um, just let me do that again. And uh, you can see that it's only got really one, two, three, four, five, four, it's actually got four segments um, and then the end ones there. Now that's just a, not a very accurate curve. So that's the first thing we're gonna change. And we can go to uh, change that by going edit curves, rebuild curve, just go edit reset. And instead of having number of spans to four, let's make it something like 30 spans hit apply um, and it doesn't seem to have done anything until we go into um, our vertex mode and you can see that that's now got 30 spans a lot more than what it had before so that's the first step now let's just uh, while that's there um, I think I've moved that around so I'm just going to zero that out again okay so what's that there just freeze transforms and center the pivot again make sure that's all cool now uh, we're going to attach it to the motion path again just the reset settings, that's fine. And we need to just fix our pole vector settings. So grab the IK handle here and just come in. And we're going to switch that to enable twist controls. And that's all good. Okay, so now that's done. Now we need to just uh, attach the flow path to an object. So let's just go into our options box. And this time we need to make that 30. So with our curve selected, we're going to hit apply again. Sorry, something wrong. Just select it again. There we go. That's now snapped. And you'll notice that it's done a much more accurate job of actually snapping to that curve. So now our fish is doing a lot better job. And I think I've pre-rehearsed this to, to do one corner in particular. I did a fair bit of bug fixing on this. Uh, it can actually still cut corners a little bit. Uh, that actually seems to have done a fairly good job in this tutorial so I'm going to leave it there but sometimes you might even want to go up to as much as 300 divisions just to be safe uh, on this sort of an object depends how slow you want your scene to work but 300 and 300 divisions is is something that will just force it to be exact uh, to actually follow that curve perfectly so now that we've done that let's just have a look at what we've got in the end just take off everything uh, except for our polygons and we can sort of watch this playback we got a very sort of realistic fish, uh, fish swimming animation. I wish that through a few times. Now, uh, there's definitely things that we can do to offset the tail kick and things like that to have this fish actually swimming with a, a proper tail kick and things. But for, for this tutorial, that's sort of uh, as far as I'll go. So I'll leave it there, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed.